Damn life. I hate when that happens. Turned the fan off because I was cold and now I'm probably going to sweat because I'm nervous because I'm live. Okay. We are going to make little baskets from I have bags and bags of this kind of stuff that comes off my fabric bundles, like the seams and hems. Hey, Jane. Nice to see you. All this kind of stuff. I have three of these plastic bags full. Francis Jacob, hi. We're going to make one of these. We're making something from nothing. And I have this bag of thread. So I'm good there. I'm good to go with that. Okay, and here's, here's our color choices. Because <laughs> I'm already doing this multicolored. It's going to go into a greenish teal. This is one I started. Tonight, we're either going to do blue. Or neutral. What do you want to see? Blue or neutral? Michelle Bernal. We've been chatting over the messenger. <laughs> Go get all your roommates. Hey, and I'm going to tell you right now that my internet sucks. So... I rebooted the router. I restarted my computer. And we're going to start with blue. We, hey, we're going to do some blue and we'll throw some neutral in on it. How about that? So you want a fairly thick piece to start. That's black. Well, where does that go? Okay. So you make a thing like this. Hottie Popo, how are you? I can hear your voice in my head from Rosemary's live streams. <laughs> I'm there a lot listening, believe it or not. You know I'm a lurker. I'm a lurker because I ain't got time. I ain't got time to interact. Okay. I have threaded a bunch of needles because this eats the thread up. So you have your strip. Fold it in half or in thirds or whatever. And just start it like that. And it's the bottom. So I don't care if that white is showing. <laughs> I'm excited about the ketchup. <laughs> Hi, Miss Miss Lori M. Okay, then you twist your fabric thing. I knew this wasn't going to work, but you know what? When I tried it with an overhead camera, 
it was a disaster. So, so I've taken a stitch right there and I'm twisting my thing. Now I want to turn it this way. You want this coming out to your left. And we'll be making all sorts of funny faces because <laughs> it's tedious work. And then you take a little bite like that. Just keep twisting and turning, twisting and turning and taking little stitches. Why, why, am, why did I do this? Okay, can't work like this. Maybe we'll just chat while I get some of it done. Then you'll see where I'm at. Hi, Barbara. We're making these little baskets from the offcuts of my crazy quilt fabric. And I just twist mine away from me. I mean, it goes kind of slow at first, but Once you get in the rhythm, make sure you got a good audio book going. TV show you don't have to look at. Hello, Miss Nevada. My friends love Nevada. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been there. I've been to Utah. Utah. So getting it started is not the fun part. And you, sometimes you have to make sure the right side of the fabric stays out. Okay, and to tie off I'm going to tie it off right there. And then you just get your next thread and your threaded needle. I need more room. And you just start right by where your hi Cody. <laughs> I have been to Kansas several times on my way to and from Colorado. Some people say it's boring, but I liked it. America has fallen. Is that nonfiction? I'm reading and listening to Tana French. 
I'm reading In the Woods and I'm listening to, I uh, can't remember the name of it, but it's the one right after In the Woods. So I'm like, I really need to finish reading that first. South Dakota. I love South Dakota too. The Badlands. The Badlands. It's fiction. I like fiction. I like everything. I like nonfiction. I like fiction. Okay. You know, I went to the. Oh, where is it? Never mind. I was going to show you something. Oh, here it is. I went to the library. <laughs> Cleveland Browns, Ohio. Okay, I got this for free at the library. So what I've been doing is going through and it, like it has book recommendations. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. And I've been on my library uh, overdrive app and I've been like placing holds <laughs> on books from this. <laughs> Dos Verania. <laughs> anyway, I got two of these. She's in Mississippi. <laughs> um, I'm just teasing Francis. Anyway, check if your library has something like this. It's, it's like this treasure chest of books. Okay, where was I? Starting is the hardest part. And you just keep going, just keep going. Round and round. At first you're gonna wanna keep it flat. She's in Yegg, Edmonton, you know, with Alex and, is it Alex? Yeah, Alex Turnbill <laughs> and Josh and Hans and Zenobia and Jakota, that area. Yes, Tammy's in Hawaii. I heard there was an earthquake or something, Tammy. A volcano. No, volcano. I'm I'm assuming that didn't have anything to do with you. Since here you are. That Cat at the Milford Library, Millie. Oh my gosh, she was so sweet. You walk up to her and she's like, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> and then she follows you. <laughs> like, yes, Millie, I will pet you. You had an earthquake and a volcano? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a little scary. You, did you tell me that before, Michelle? Oh no, I have a knot. I do do that. Grr. Okay, we'll see if it goes through. If it don't, we have to change threads. Okay. Here's one of my faces. Oh, dang it. Okay. I know. I'll just grab a bigger needle. I listened to a book podcast, too, called What Should I Read Next? 
they had um they had a guy on and he liked this book called atonement so i said i'm gonna listen to that and i put a hold on it for the audiobook and there was a big long wait list while well, i finally got it i hated it <laughs> I, like, I listened about 20 minutes of it i'm like i can't listen to this <laughs> What are you reading, Kathy D? You always got good recommendations. Somebody translate that Russian for me. I can't, I can't, I can't get to Google. <laughs> True Raiders, okay. I think I saw that. Where did I see that? In one of these in one of these books I got two of them. I think are they like looking for the Ark of the Covenant <laughs> or something like that? Yeah, I know about the beeswax. I just don't have any. It is. It is 1909. So you're right on, you're right on trend. It's in one of those library resources I got. I always go to the new bookshelf, but um, is that the one you showed on Instagram that you want? Maybe that's where I saw it. I saw it on Instagram because you won it. <laughs> Duh. But it's probably in there anyway. I totally screwed that one up. <laughs> okay, either pay attention. Either look at the computer or look at your thing because you're going to get hurt. Okay, so this is where I'm at so far. And see, the thread actually becomes part of the design. Don't twist it away from me. We had a new bookstore open up by my work. I'm very excited just to go in and look around. Oh, they had a beautiful copy of Jane Eyre. <laughs> Hello. It's interesting and dangerous because I've already poked myself. That's probably a drop of blood. Janice, my friend, my friend's here. Janice is here. I don't know. I totally, I was sitting here and I thought, what am I going to do with this? It's a, it's like a basket or a bowl. I don't know what it is. But I wanted to use some scraps. I already made a bunch of what you call it the tops of tags i made like a hundred tags okay i'm done using this stuff for tags and and while i cut fabric all the time i'm always going to have more so i wanted something different to do with them it's these bags of fabric it's not crocheted 
It's actually sewn. <laughs> ah. I think it's me. Crocheted would be nice. Actually, I might try that. I might ditch this and try to crochet one. I'd still have to sew a bunch of things together, though. Oh, it's not really woven. It's I'm sewing it round and round like a like a wannabe Indian <laughs> making baskets out of pine needles. That's that's kind of what it's like. It's like you would do for a pine needle basket. Yes, Michelle's a master crocheter. I'll be modeling something soon. Before winter gets here, I hope. Read baskets, maybe. Um, cattails. Okay. So I had another one. See, I'm farther along on this one. And I'm getting ready to make it curve up you just put a little put a little pressure on it and it will it'll start to cup just like a crocheted rug if you stop increasing or if you're going to make a basket you crochet flat and then you i don't know <laughs> but it'll start cupping and it will go into this. And of course, I can't replicate anything. Witness this. I mean, it looks nothing like this. <laughs> so it's it's one of those things that every time is going to be different. I'll finish this. Hey, that's not bad. That's not a bad time. <laughs> I do have a darning needle. I could pick and choose. It's probably hard to get them to go through. You know what I used up on that? On this one. Can you tell here? I used up some embroidery floss. So, but I don't want to, it takes a lot of thread and I don't want to use my embroidery floss for these. But this, I don't want to use this embroidery floss for it. However, I might use this embroidery floss. Oh, Jane, you have no idea <laughs> how long it took me to do these. But, <laughs> yikes. Now I have octopusy like things everywhere. Help. 
tentacles, I say. Hola, Isa. <laughs> Issa made a crazy quilt origami bag. And it is way cool. <laughs> it is very time consuming, but if you got a good audio book, it really don't matter. It don't matter at all. It's very, it's that slow stitching you hear about. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> it's a slow stitching pro project, but it's also like you can't hardly wait to see what the next color is going to look like. Hi, Beth. We're just in here poking ourselves with needles and bleeding on our projects. I need to turn the fan back on. I knew this was going to happen. And you get in front of a live audience <laughs> and you start sweating. <laughs> oh, this looks like it's got an eye. Look at that. It's an eyeball now. <laughs> I do YouTube also. Well, Melanie, I will show you. Let me use this thread up real quick. Or I could just stop here and use it. Okay. So you get to the end. Romaine. What's going on up your way? Okay, look at this. Ooh, it's shiny. I don't want to use that yet. I don't want to use that yet because this is still the bottom. So I guess we'll switch to this. I'm going to put that needle. I don't want no surprises. Yeah, it rained. It was so gloomy here. It was so nice to see the sun today. Ugh. Okay. You're at the end. You just take two stitches and sew that next piece on. I mean, it don't have to be pretty. All it has to do is hold it. That's it. It's very <laughs> beginner friendly. And I don't even care if the pieces, like, I'll sew a bunch of these together. Here's a seam off of a yellow dress. I'll just sew that right onto there. And make it longer. Oh, yeah. Let me tilt this down a little. Hey, I should have done that the whole time. Not used to having a laptop. I would rather 
I was using my overhead camera that way. You don't have to see my messy hair and my sweaty armpits and my whatever. They're really, I, I couldn't quit looking at this one when I, after I made it, I was like, I made that. <laughs> I, I want to make a big one, but you know what? I can't keep it flat long enough to make a big one. It wants to curl. Look at that. Okay. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, well. See, I got a little this on it, but I'll catch it on the way back. <laughs> Jane's determined to have that, that dang bowl. <laughs> we'll talk later. There's that Russian again. Somebody catch it for me. Just copy and paste it into Google Translate. My Russian is very poor. <laughs> Actually, non-existent. Hey, did everybody notice Mr. Victor's back? He is making journals again, and he made a magnet, a refrigerator magnet. Okay, this is hideous, but <laughs> it's a tangled mess. Oh, this side's nice. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Janice, I wanted to do something different. Like I said, I, I was using them on tags for the little top piece on the tags. At this point, I don't care if I ever make another tag again. Remember, I challenged myself to do 100 of those tags. I'm at 97, or 93. I have seven. Seven left. Oh, that's the translation? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Tell him I said thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I've been getting like a Turkish woman too that's on my No, the the strips are all different. They're all different. Because it's the seams, it's the leftovers from when I cut my fabric. And hardly any of them are the same, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. Where's that green one? This is velvet, and this was like a stretchy um, t shirt material. And this had all kinds of bumps and like where the seam, where the, where it ended. And I, so it's way thick and thin. Same with this edge. It was all, uh, like all different wavy and, you know, <laughs> I, placebo. Look, I can read that. I can read. Thank you. Placebo. I could have just said that. <laughs>
I lost it. I lost it. Oh, oh my. In a blink of an eye. Look at this. This one's real thin. So. <laughs> well, I've lost my blue one. No. Here it is. It's in the mess. Man, the back's ugly, but the this side's nice. The train, can you hear it? Yes. I'm catching, okay, Beth, uh, I can't show you. <laughs> I'm catching the new row and coming up through the robe underneath it. So the thread goes all the way, all the way over the top row. Actually, no. There's two ways to do it. Okay, <laughs> let me tie this off. That's why the back looks so nice because I was doing it different. You can bring it all the way. So if you go in, let me get it started. You can bring it all the way over. But I don't want to do that. Because I'm doing this one different. This one, I brought it all the way over. The top, the thread comes through the bottom one up over the top one and then back through the bottom one. But so I seen the person commenting on YouTube and I told Romaine I saw somebody on YouTube that had your name and she's like no way. Guess what? It was her. <laughs> I said, I had to apologize. I'm like, Romaine, it was you on Madness Photography. <laughs> Ukraine, yes. He says, you will saw. <laughs> you will saw. <laughs> he was talking about Ace cards. Okay. I'm just going to say it. He called them ask us cards. Us. I didn't want to tell him. <laughs> so, you should watch his new videos. You'll see you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, I thought he quit crafting. I don't think he did. I think he's closet crafting because <laughs> he banged out those two junk journals really fast and a magnet, maybe three junk journals. Mr. Victor Crafter. That first box I sent him. <laughs> I I love listening to him. I sent him a box of stuff. It's been probably four years ago now. And I, I go back and I watch that video. He <laughs> goes, Bicky, Bicky, Bicky. <laughs> he won't call me Crazy Rebecca.
Yeah, you probably could, but then you couldn't sit and listen to your audio books. Well, I guess you could, but have you ever tried to listen to an audio book over a sewing machine? It don't want to, it don't work. <laughs> Come on, people, this is slow stitching. Everybody's doing it. Okay, now I'm in the, you got to twist it away from you. We're starting the white, and it's way thinner. In that blue. I'm gonna see if I got guess what's in here. It's not gum. There's a hint. This is all oh my crochet hooks. I'm going to try something. Ooh, some cable needles also. Okay, I just grabbed a size I hook. I don't know why. See if it goes any faster. Oh yeah, but you would still have to sew your fabrics together. But it wouldn't matter. cable needle when you make a cable when you're knitting you slip some stitches onto the cable needle you hold it either to the front or to the back then you knit more stitches <laughs> it's less poking i should check my blood sugar because i'm already poked um yeah cabling is fun but I tell you what, cabled sweaters make me look 10 times fatter than I already look. So, although I love them, I don't really wear them. So, well, look at that. It is faster. So I got to try to keep it flat. Just use your fabric. Don't throw it away or throw it away. It doesn't matter. <laughs> If you saw my waste paper basket in there right now, you'd be amazed. Because there comes a time when you're just like, I'm tired, boss. Exactly, Kathy. Mona? Hey, Mona. We started off sewing and we switched to crochet because the slow the slow stitching Okay. So I need another piece of fabric. Actually, I'm going to use this. I think it was a t-shirt, but I'm going to cut it. Right above the stitching line. Oh, move that. Anyway, here's the hem. So I'll get twice the fabric out of it, twice the strip. 
reduce, reuse, recycle. I'm gonna go flip the fan on and grab some tags. Talk, talk amongst yourself. <laughs> I'll be right back. This is what I was talking about for the tags, these things. This is the same stuff that I'm using now. Out of the same scrap pile, I mean. Look how pretty. And I, I have 93 of them done. So those are going to somebody off of Instagram, whether she wants them or not. <laughs> so. Whew. I'm sweating. I used brown grocery bags and I cut them so they laid flat. And I glued book pages on them, and then I glued napkins on them. And then I cut them to look like tags. So they're not perfect. They're not even all the same size or anything. This is how I'm joining these. Cut a little slit in them. And then you bring this back through itself. You're the tag queen, Tammy. Dang, I love them creepy girl tags. They're going in my personal stash. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I need to cut this thread off because there's a weapon <laughs> on the end of it. Okay, one more and then we'll start the next round. I'm going to do two, two and one, and then just one. Try to keep it flat. Ooh, it's eating this right up, though. So this crochet part probably would want to keep it somewhat the same. See, I'm done already almost. Okay. Okay.
We got to try, where's that yellow one I had? Is this it? That needs cut. <laughs> but Kathy, I have thread, okay? <laughs> I do have cool libraries, and I am so glad that they all linked up so I can use my library card. <laughs> I can go to 85 different libraries with one card. Plus, I signed up the library in the town where I work. They think they're too good to be in the Lincoln Trails. So, but all I did was go in there and register my card, and I can still take anything out. Anything I want. Okay, I'm going to sew these because they ain't stretchy like that other one. So far. I'm trying to edit my crazy quilt skirt video. I need a picture. I need a video of me wearing it because I didn't get one at the art show. I got some pictures, but I could have done it today. The light was perfect, but I was too lazy. Just setting up the tripod and getting dressed and going outside and walking around in my crazy outfit. It's not like they don't know I'm crazy. The art show was a total bust. But I love it. Took my friend out to lunch and she went her way and I went geocaching. <laughs> And I, I went, I stopped at three geocaches and I found zero. But I had a great time. <laughs> and since my last, my last um, live, I have made zero pin cushions. Look, I'm done already with that. It only made this much. I mean, it's not about the money. If it was about the money, I'd be in trouble. It's just about having fun and whatever. But I really did think there'd be more people there. There were people, but they... Didn't want to talk to me. I scared him away. I scared him away with my cool hat. My cool skirt. Like if I'd have been standing there in jeans and a sweatshirt. They probably would have talked to me.
I know you would have, sweetie. <laughs> We would have had fun. Yeah, different venue. Yeah. A real art a real art show would have been nice. This was just like a artist meet and greet at a weird place. So it's okay. And the lady that invited me. She wasn't much help because her mother died like the day before. And yeah. Okay, I need to rethink this. Anyway, you get the you get the point. And to make it a bowl. You quit increasing, and it just it just does this thing. Oh. Anyway, I guess this one's Jane's. Um. <laughs> and I'm sweating, and I'm hungry, and I'm gonna go. But thank you guys for hanging and translating and talking and keeping me happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. And if you make these, don't poke your fingers because, okay? So I will see you all later. Be nice to each other. That's all I got to say.